And one of the things we discovered um, while making this film was that uh, having a, a, a diverse group of spider people um, ended up being a great sort of representation of just the world we live in today. The relationship between Peter and Miles is important because um, there's a symmetry to it. You know, Miles needs him to be a mentor, needs him to teach him the ways of being Spider-Man that, that Peter knows so well. But at the same time, Peter needs Miles to show him, uh, you know, the passion and the desire and, and sort of the innocence that, that, that um, he has forgotten um, over 20 years of being Spider-Man. Penny Parker is a young girl from um, the 30th century. She is, lives in a future New York. She's half Japanese, Amer half Japanese, half American. Her father was Peter Parker, a uh, scientist, also bitten by a spider. He built a robot, SPDR. And when he passed away while fighting uh, crime, uh, he passed the robot on to Penny. She inherited his spider powers uh, through the bite of the uh, spider inside the robot, and she became Penny Parker, pilot of SPDR. We have many different villains in our movie. Um, our main villain, Kingpin, is a long history uh, in the Spider-Man canon. Uh, he is a sort of a, a big-time gangster in New York. Um, we, we uh, also have Green Goblin, and this is Miles' universe. So Green Goblin is a little different than the Green Goblin we're used to seeing. He's more goblin than man. Uh, he's 22 feet tall, and he's got scales, and he's really intimidating. Uh, we also have the Prowler, who is one of Kingpin's top henchmen, uh, who's got this really incredible sort of low-tech, high-tech suit, um, and he is an excellent Muay Thai fighter.